16 facts that might save your life one day. We are all familiar with life's main indispensable safety rules. However, sometimes you may find yourself facing an unexpected situation that makes you feel confused and at a loss for what to do. Here are some important facts that might one day save your life. Pay attention to fact number two, as knowing this rule has already saved many lives. 16. How to recognize a poisonous snake. It's best to keep away from snakes, but you nevertheless do well to know the signs that indicate whether you've been confronted with a venomous member of the species or not. Here are the signs of a poisonous snake. The abdominal side of the tail is covered with non-bifurcated scales. Its pupils are similar to those of a cat. Non-dangerous snakes have round pupils. The divide between the head and the neck is very distinct if viewed from above. Of course, there are exceptions to every rule, and only an expert can confirm whether a snake is dangerous or not. However, in most cases, these rules are an excellent guide. 15. Never use a cell phone while walking. Health and safety consultants note that combining walking and using your phone proves too big a challenge for our brain. This can cause you to lose track of your surroundings, becoming blind to any possible dangers, such as a speeding car that might suddenly come your way. 14. Adjust your car's mirrors. To eliminate blind spots when driving, you need to adjust your car's mirrors correctly. Adjust the side mirrors in such a way as to be barely able to see the edges of your vehicle. This rearrangement will help you eliminate any blind spots in the side zones. Position your rear view mirror so as always to be able to see any car that comes up behind you. To ensure the mirror readjustment's effectiveness, do it directly from the driver's seat. 13. Have the right clothes for cold weather. Remember that wet skin gives off heat much faster, so it's important to keep your skin dry for as long as possible. Ensure that your body temperature does not fall too quickly by wearing woolen clothes. Such clothes are excellent at absorbing moisture. Cotton and other fabrics are poor moisture absorbers. Wearing clothes made from such materials will cause you to freeze in no time at all. 12. Inflate your life jacket after exiting the aircraft. This is especially true in a case of emergency water landings. Inflating your life jacket inside a rapidly submerging airplane will cause you to float up to the cabin's ceiling, unable to move without help. The right thing to do is to take a deep breath and swim out of the airplane with your life jacket still deflated. You should pull the inflation cord only when you're safely out of the plane. 11. How to prevent the danger of choking. You can prevent the risk of choking on a piece of food by learning the Heimlich maneuver. In fact, medics advise everyone to learn this. It might prove vital in saving yourself or others from choking. Just follow this sequence of actions. Place your fist thumb side in just above the person's navel. Grasp the fist tightly with your other hand and move it upwards, applying strong pressure to their rib cage. Repeat such quick upward and inward thrusts until you dislodge the object blocking their airway. If none of those mentioned above actions produce an effect, lean the person over a fixed flat object, such as a table edge, chair, or railing. Then, press their abdomen just above the navel against the edge to produce a quick upward pressure. Repeat until the object is expelled. 10. Always carry anti-allergy pills. You never know when an allergic reaction might strike. Make sure always to have anti-allergy, antihistamine drugs at hand. This could prove crucial in helping yourself or others, especially if you're planning on going camping or preparing for a long trip. 9. Remember the rule of three. Bear in mind that your body's endurance limits are most often determined by the rule of three. As numerous studies have shown, on average, people can live three minutes without air, three hours without shelter in extreme weather conditions, three days without water, and three weeks without food. 8. How to put out a grease fire. In a case of vegetable oil catching fire on a gas stove, firefighters warn never to use water when trying to extinguish burning fat or oil. Water particles will immediately end up at the bottom of the pan and begin to evaporate, which will make the flames even stronger. The correct action is to cover the hot pan with something, as this will cut off the fire's supply of heat and oxygen. 7. Never remove a sharp object from a wound. 
Medical experts say that under no circumstances should you remove a knife or any other sharp object from a wound. As long as the blade stays in the wound, it prevents bleeding, possibly the most dangerous consequence of any stabbing. What you should do is try to minimize the bleeding even further as you wait for medical help to arrive. 6. Be careful during takeoff and landing. According to researchers, 80% of plane crashes occur during these specific time periods. The best way to behave is to remain extra vigilant and focus on memorizing your required actions during an emergency. So, you need to be extra careful the first three minutes after takeoff and the last eight minutes before landing. 5. If caught in a fire, stay close to the ground. Experts note that the greatest threat during a fire comes from carbon monoxide fumes, not burns. To avoid inhaling toxic smoke, try to stay as close to the floor as possible, right until you vacate the danger area. 4. If you suddenly feel unwell, only ask one person for help. You should only ask one person for help in a public place because of a well-documented psychological phenomenon known as diffusion of responsibility. To put it simply, you've got much better chances of receiving assistance from one particular person than from a whole crowd of people. 3. Always carry a powerful flashlight. Personal safety experts recommend this simple gadget as an effective weapon in case of stalking or a sudden ambush. If you notice a suspicious looking person who is preparing to attack you, shine a powerful flashlight directly into his or her face. As a result, your adversary will be temporarily disoriented, allowing you to make an escape. 2. Memorize the rules of conduct in case of fire. All too often, when faced with a never-before-experienced crisis, we tend to freeze up and do nothing to save ourselves. That is why survival specialists always advise to check out the emergency exit map in any building you happen to frequent. Best to do it beforehand and not wait for a possible emergency to occur. 1. Always carry documents that verify your identity. Make sure to always carry some ID papers on your person. These documents should include medical information, such as your blood type, allergic reactions, etc. This way, if something unexpected occurs, even a complete stranger will be able to offer you quick assistance. Also, don't forget to create a list of personal contacts, phone numbers of people that need to be alerted in case of an emergency, 